And I'm ready. Just in case you guys don't remember, or if you haven't been here for the Dark Side uh, playthrough, you have to go to your personal starship and pick up the mission from there. Because for one reason or another, it's not given to you with an email. It's not given to you automatically like the previous missions were. I don't know why. But at this point, most of us should have uh, like a habit uh, or a reflex. When you don't have a next main mission, go to your starship, your personal ship, and check the terminal there. Oh, let me hide these things. Vox should be... Oh, crap. Watchman. Don't want to play Watchman in a solo content. Uh, I played combat, so let's go concentration this time. Really doesn't matter what utilities you're going to pick for something solo. So I'll just run with, let's say, these. I do want to emphasize, it absolutely doesn't matter. Yes, I did actually fe felt threatened sometimes uh, here and there, but it's nothing really of a great importance. Uh, Zilla Sleep is on number six, and that should be my build. Uh, I don't have a steam active. Do I want to have? Yes, of course, why not? Pick up the mission. Don't pay attention to the Foreign Empire Chapter 1. That I don't know why they keep giving you this, even after you finish those. <clears throat> The same text, but let me read it, just in case you didn't see the dark side. The shadowy order of Zildrog is revealed, but your alliance knows little yet about their new enemy. Lana Benico may have more information. We're going to Odessa to meet with her, and of course I'm going to hide the ugly mug in the bottom left of your screen and all the other elements of the user interface. I will be silent during the cutscenes, so we can all together enjoy the playthrough. Are you a sage now? <laughs> no, this is... I don't know if you're trolling me, Solar. This is uh, Sentinel. And just like always, I'm doing my best to follow up with the chat and answer any kinds of questions or comments that I see from time to time. If I don't, it's probably because you've asked me during a cutscene or maybe because I missed it. Whoops. Take a left, Damas. Take a left. That's where you are going, to the elevator on the left. It's the same instance where we have the entrances to Ambara and Copero. And that sweet little... Woohoo! Someone's got the wings. I actually had the wings on Skorks, but... They are not allowed to be used for the better part of the story. Because for one reason or another, they don't want to give it to you in a flashpoint. Commander, you're just in time. Hilo discovered a new lead in our search for the Order of Zildrog. My guys picked up a weird signal from an abandoned Imperial listening post on one of their runs. Seems it was meant for the Alliance. When decrypted, the signal broadcasts one word, Zildrog. The same as the message we intercepted from Theron. Someone is trying to lead us to the Order. I know it. If the message is linked to the one Theron sent, he could be using his place in the Order to help us. I admit it's possible. But even if that were true, we have no way of knowing his real motive. We need to get inside that listening post and gather whatever data we can. There's no telling what you'll find, so I'll come along to provide support. I'm ready when you are. Then let's get moving. Hilo, ready the shuttle. Don't make me fight alone! I love that random shout from Doc just before I ditch him because he's not allowed in the new story, Flashpoint. Uh, press launch to begin the mission. Okay, a quick couple of answers. Uh, where the hell was that? Yes, uh, thank you mc 3 Of course I know I can turn off the, the, the background music, but when we're experiencing new story, at least in my opinion, it's crucial and very vital to have the background music because it adds a lot to the atmosphere. And... <laughs> The evil Volk is, all, is off, yes, the evil Volk uh, was here up until a few minutes ago. Don't worry guys, if you're just joining and you want to see the dark side, the standalone video with the dark side playthrough that I just finished will be available in maybe the next two or three hours later tonight. It is Disney. Disney's robots are claiming and uh, flaming the videos. YouTube just allows them to do that.
The Empire abandoned this listening post years ago, during Zakul's first invasion. No life readings in sight, but the security system may still be active. We should be cautious. Here, this will help. A uh, quick warning for all of you guys who are currently. Yeah, and that voice scared me again. Someone is tampering with security to let us through. That might not last. We should hurry and find whatever information we can. It would be nice if the mouths of our characters were moving, at least attempting to mimic conversation during this non scripted thing. It's scripted, actually, it's not cinematic. So, quick word of warning, please. If you have seen the story from my previous walkthrough, or if you know what's happening, don't spoil it for everybody else here in the chat or for everybody else watching the live stream. Thank you. And yes, I know that some of you are pissed with what I did in the Dark Side run. <laughs> Two children on the spire fight over a discarded ration. I could do nothing to help them. Zakul was a golden empire. And now look at us. Digging through the ashes the Alliance left behind. So many families torn apart. Fighting a war they never wanted. And for what? So the Outlander can lecture us about peace while we're left with nothing? Valkorian's death. Arkham's tyranny, Valen's path of destruction. It all began with the Outlander. I don't know what I can do, but I won't stand by and watch my people suffer. I need to take down the Alliance. For Zakul. Who is this man? According to the data, his name is Vin Atreus, former member of Valen's Horizon Guard. He was reported missing six months ago. Beyond that, no records. So this was the Order's base of operations. The original data was wiped, but the backup is intact. Whoever led us here knows how to make encrypted copies. Hey, Wondior, thank you very much for your generosity, mate. There's only one solution. You must monitor everyone. Hold on, Minister of Paranoia. You can't invade everyone's privacy to sniff out a single rat. I can't, but the commander can. Give the order and I'll begin surveillance of everyone. Even Theron and myself. It's the only way to flush out the traitor. We spent weeks sweeping Odessa for bugs. And somehow they still had eyes on us. How is that possible? Some of you might remember that short conversation that Lana started. Woohoo! Thank you, Jenny! It's unfortunate that I'm not displaying these alerts on the screen, but they will appear um, after the story. Thank you very much, Jenny. You'll need my help. No one knows the Alliance better than one of its founders. You expect me to trust you? After you helped the Outlander forge a partnership with the Republic? In a single blow, you doubled their support and cut ours in half. I also led the Commander into that trap on Iocath. You wouldn't hear me out, so I took matters into my own hands. Look, you doubt my intentions, I get that. How can I convince you? Umbara. The Adegan Crystals. You got it. That's part two. Let's go on the other side and see the other two parts of the bonus mission. 
They are exactly the same for the dark side and the light side playthroughs, obviously, just in case someone is wondering. And they're optional. But if you don't do these, you're actually missing cool story. Plus, that bonus quest is extremely easy and quick to do. When Emperor Arkan gave the order to bomb my homeworld, we didn't even have time to evacuate. Millions of people, my people, wiped out in an instant, all because Arkan wanted to send a message to the Alliance. And now he sits beside the commander as a friend? Where is my justice? I promise you, Arkan and the commander will pay for their crimes. The Alliance will fall. But I need your help, Chilanes. You shall have it. Yes, uh, Solar, I believe that bug with the something unfinished was fixed. I can't remember in which update, but I do remember seeing it in patch notes in the previous updates. Uh, Jenny, send me a personal message on YouTube, please, uh, and I would like to invite you to Discord, of course, if you're using that as my sponsor. I know better than to trust a Sith Lord, Darth Mortis. The Alliance had the chance to seize control of the galaxy, yet its commander wastes the throne's power on diplomacy. I'd rather see the Eternal Fleet destroyed than remain in the hands of a weak leader. That can't be your only reason for joining the Order. You must want something in return. All I ask is that when the time comes, you need the traitor Lana Benico to me. Consider it done. That's the bonus quest finished. Let's go do the two panels. Terminals. Sorry. Once again, a quick tour because I really love the interior design and the job that Bioware has done with this. I advise you not to get too close to the items because you will see how poor quality and lower, lower resolution textures are implemented here, but that's not new for the game. <laughs> how did you find me? It wasn't difficult. Despite clumsy attempts to cover your trail, I was able to learn everything about you. I know how to awaken a Zilprog and where to find it. It's much closer than you think. You're lying. I searched the Gemini network. I have ascended beyond the Gemini network. I severed my connection to maintain my free will. I've attained knowledge an organic like yourself cannot comprehend. If you provide the right people, I can help you control Zildrog. What do you want in return? My sisters are shackled to the throne. I still feel them calling to me. You want them freed? No. I want them destroyed. As long as the Eternal Fleet and the Gemini Network exist, I remain vulnerable to outside control. Zildrog is the key to my freedom. I will not be enslaved again. Odessan isn't the only target. They're after the entire Alliance, everything we built. We haven't lost yet. We need to find the Order and stop them from awakening Zildrog. My scans show there's still one more active terminal. Let's hurry. One more terminal. Sometimes I kind of regret not displaying chat overlay, but these days YouTube allows you to see the chat archives. And if you are watching the recorded version of this, check out the chat on the right now in this moment. Very interesting and very nice discussion. Thank you guys for reminding those who don't remember or don't know who these characters that we've just encountered are. Like Dark Mortis, for example. I, I think I finally found it. After combing through all the data we took from Iocath, there was a string of numbers repeated over and over. When I decrypted them, the string spelled a word. 
Zildrog. I thought it was just a legend, but the dragon god of Zakul is real. And it's a super weapon, capable of consuming entire civilizations. I, I don't know how to wake Zildrog or how to control it, but I'm one step closer. It's finally here. My chance to destroy the Alliance and avenge my people. But I can't do it alone. There's another machine god. If the Order awakens Zildrog and uses it on Odessan. Odessan is only the beginning. This weapon could devastate the galaxy. We're running out of time. Code recognized. Self-destruct will reactivate in 90 seconds. That's our cue to pick up the pace. I'm really curious what would happen if I wait here for 90 seconds. There isn't a timer or anything happening. And the objective is investigate the main terminal. Patrick, if that's a question to me, that's my second run. I just completed the dark side a few minutes ago. Now this is a light side run. You know, I'm actually gonna stay here for a few seconds. I'm curious to see if the voiceover will warn me or less time remaining and in the meanwhile i'll show you guys again the environment outside it would be nice if we see some no it doesn't make sense to have corpses down there it's an abandoned station I really love the level of detail outside it's far enough so not too much of a detail is displayed, but everything is animated, real 3D and existing. I see the eyes of my character being sit-ish. Okay, that's a weird animation. They're not sit. This guy is tier 5 good for light side. No warning then, I guess. Strange. New data was entered into this console just before we arrived. What does it say? It's a set of coordinates on Nathema. There's a message. They've found it. Hurry. Wait. I recognize this encryption method. We developed it together years ago on Rishi. Only two people know how to decrypt it. Me and Theron. I never stopped believing in Theron. This proves he's still on our side. Commander, I know you want to trust him, but... Self-destruct reactivated. All personnel advised to evacuate immediately. We'll discuss it later. Let's get out of here before the whole station blows. on you now, Commander. You destroyed the data? Didn't leave a trace. Hey Enrique, I hope you're still around. I did not see your message that apparently my live stream is being discussed on the forums. Hopefully with something interesting and positive. What are people saying? Something that they haven't experienced in the dark side yet, because that's the first thing I showed today. Uh, okay, I have to escape. There isn't a timer yet again. Maybe some other time on another character, we'll check it. If there is a timer and what happens if I'm too late or too slow? Edit back.
I received word from my team. They've repaired the hollow map from Capero. The data confirmed the Order's objective is Nathema. I can't believe it, but Theron's information was good. What's more, the coordinates we received from Theron pointed to a specific location on Nathema. It may be Zildrog's location, but we can't know for sure. I don't know what Theron has up his sleeve, and I don't need to. I'm choosing to trust him. It doesn't matter if we trust him or not. If we want to stop the Order, we need to act quickly. In any case, I'm coming with you to face those traitors. We've come too far to let them win now. Let's show them who they're dealing with. Commander, there's something I need to say. Not so long ago, you placed your faith in me, in spite of my past. I was your enemy from the start, but Theron was your friend. He stood by your side through the worst of my attacks. Regardless of his intentions now, when the time comes, Consider the same mercy you showed me. I know Lana has her doubts, but I never stopped believing in him. He's still on our side. I can feel it. I know better than anyone to trust your judgment. Now go. Save the Alliance. I can feel the history here. Valkorion had so much left to accomplish. If he had his way, we'd all be dead. Valkorion made Zakul a paradise, until your alliance destroyed it. I know I wouldn't be here if I didn't want to help. Then don't forget your place. They've arrived. It calls out to us. It has slept for centuries, but knows the time to feed is approaching. Zildra. Call the others. We'll begin soon. Feel now. And we've just started the flashpoint. This is Natima, or as I prefer to call it, Natima. First of all, quick greetings for the live stream. Hi, Trig, Trio, and Nathan. Nathan, your name doesn't seem to be Turkish. What are you doing in Istanbul? Oh, you can't use um, a mount. You can skip those, but I skipped them the previous time, so. Yeah, this will help. Plus, it's more fun killing stuff with my Jedi, who I don't know why, but has always felt more natural, probably because he's better geared with more optimized gear. And I'm enjoying killing stuff a lot more on him than on my uh, on my Sith Warrior. Someone asked earlier if my uh, Sith Warrior was a Juggernaut. No, he is a Marauder. I do have three Juggernauts, as a matter of fact, but uh, I don't play uh, Juggernaut in general, uh, so. That's why I couldn't really provide a guide, and I had one written from a guest writer on my website, in case you guys have noticed it already. Yes, the update is free, mate. Uh, I believe Trio gave you an answer, that's why I did not answer myself. Kill the healers first. Otherwise, they are annoying. Especially if you're running this in a group mode.
Uh, there was... Wasn't there something here? I wonder if I should spend the time running the bonus quest with the Volcarian knowledge here on the stream. That would... Because I don't know the locations of all of these things. Maybe it's a better idea to just not do it right now. And save it for off-stream. Maybe just add it to the written guide with uh, images for the map locations where all of these chests and other things are. Oscar, welcome back. I won't tell you what happened, of course, mate, because you have to wait and see. Plus, those those viewers who are currently here and haven't seen it wouldn't want it spoiled, right? No. Uh, the only attempt at romance that we were given with Arkan in the previous update uh, is with my smuggler. And it's highly unlikely that I will run this flashpoint uh, with the smuggler because she hasn't done the previous ones. And yes, the update is free. That's the second bonus quest with Seeker of Fortune. Uh, the update is free, but there is a requirement for you to have completed the previous missions related in this story arc. Don't ask why I'm killing these. I can't give you a clear answer. You can clearly get past those. And yet, for some reason, I insisted on killing them. This place is filled with life. It's hard to recognize it. It's amazing to see what the folks can accomplish in such a short time. Space Cowboy! I really enjoy the title of this thing. Any decorations? Not so far. Oh yes, Arkan appears only if you've saved him. Because he did not appear in the dark side, where I killed him. I wouldn't say that Arkan is really involved, but it's nice for him to at least appear. Uh, quick check if there is anything noticeably clickable here. No? <laughs> that was Lana. Yeah. This thing looks like it's clickable a bit, but never mind. The coordinates are just ahead. Keep your guard up. That's a lore object and I'll show it to you guys. that at least in this form here in the solo mode you can't actually tell which character which uh, npc is going to be the healer <laughs> killing creatures is not the jedi way nice one zealots without a master this is an update on what exactly these guys are that we've been killing here let's check a little bit more trash no decorations. It's a good explanation. But it's not the reason why I killed them. This is where the coordinates pointed to, but... Where are we? Not Zildrog's location, evidently. Sorry. I needed to meet somewhere the Order wouldn't notice. I managed to give them the slip, but we don't have much time. They said I was crazy to trust you, but I knew you'd come back. I don't know how I could deserve your trust. I have a lot of explaining to do. 
I heard rumors about the Order of Sildrug through my old underworld contacts. It took me months to even find them, and the whole time, they were watching us. By the time I learned the truth about Sildrog, it was almost too late. They learned too much. I had to slow them down long enough for the Alliance to catch up. I had to join them, work from the inside. The only way to get Ven Atreus to trust me was to betray you. It wasn't the only way. Why didn't you come to me? The Gemini droid was watching. I couldn't figure out how, but she was recording every word we said. Telling you would risk the whole operation. I needed the betrayal to look real. You can't imagine how hard it was putting you through that. But I knew you were strong enough. I had faith in you. So you infiltrated the Order and learned their plans. What are we up against? They found Zildrog in one of the Emperor's vaults. Looks like Valkorion kept it on ice as a failsafe. The Order has nearly finished their final preparations. Once they activate Zildrog, it's the end of the Alliance. I see them. The Alliance has arrived. Already? How did they find us so quickly? They're in Shan's among. I warned you about him. <sighs> that deceitful scum! We'll have to begin ahead of schedule. Make sure the others are ready. Our new ally will take care of the Outlander. I stalled him with false data for as long as I could, but we don't have much time. If we act now, we can stop the order before they activate Sildrog. I set up blind spots so we can get through the vault mostly undetected. We're supposed to trust you after what you've put us through. How do we know you're not leading us straight into the order's hands? I know you don't believe him, Lana, but I do. The least you can do is trust my judgment. I... I apologize. You know I'll follow you, whatever you decide. Come on. We need to get moving. <laughs> Jenny seems to be falling for the bad guy. Yeah, that's understandable. It does look cool. I don't like the implants, but then again, they don't bother me too much. it one more time these champion creatures are really really weak to be claimed champions stars look at that just don't look down i know how you are with us i don't need your concern theron okay one more time let's take a look at what the environment really is and by the way we're going to explore some of these parts of what we see here from close up Really cool looking. Okay, let's move back. Yet again, I seem to be missing the side mission here because I don't really look for those um, treasure chests. Um, I went on the upper floor the first time, so let's go below this time and see what the difference is. A chest. Interesting. shame you don't get nothing for opening each one of these chests unless there is something in the chat no no message nothing oh wait actually huh that's not a second way what is it yes it is all right so you can actually skip all the trash upstairs hmm you know I think is this where they took the first screenshot no that's not the place there is no waterfall never mind you know that exclusive first screenshot that we saw okay first boss fight yeah it attacked me already give me a chance okay 
I'm actually going to go further away and see once again to confirm. Can you press and activate those? Okay, you can't. Unless the boss is actually on the green. Like right now. And when you deactivate the boss, because he is stunned with a buff for approximately 15 seconds, you've got plenty of time to take care of the other. Simple mechanic, but really interesting, in my opinion. Unless, of course, it's uh, disbalanced in uh, Master Mode. Well, I can't say that. Rock Throw is uninterruptible. And since I have his attention, let me bring him to the next green, where I can stun him again. Because, ooh, he's overwhelmed. This is actually in some way similar mechanic to what you might remember from the Zerka Flashpoint. With those, um, uh, the, ooh, uh, the, the sand boss with the sandstorm and uh, the other one with the, the birds trash. I can't remember their names. Oh, you can actually bring him out from under the ground by using this. And, unlike the previous time, I managed to actually use all three pylons. There's gotta be a decoration here. Ooh, I haven't seen that one. Looks cool. Let me show you. Well, maybe in the end, I'll show them to you uh, in more detail in a bigger screen. I mean, bigger frame. Or maybe I'll just take those screenshots and save them for Modern the written tech. guide. Tomorrow, the the after tomorrow, we'll see. Took nearly their entire base with them when they left. Had me destroy what remained. Got you. She's got me. Lana, I know I'm not exactly on your good side right now, but... You should have told me your plans. We were supposed to be a team, Theron. You had to be in the dark. That's what you told me on Rishi, wasn't it? That's not... We can discuss this later. Focus on the mission. Told you during the dark side playthrough, I believe, somewhere around that point, that it's far better to play with the AoE bursts back. And yes, concentration or fury for the Empire Terms is better, it seems. Okay, let's try to take this road this time. Not much of a difference. something purple um really an augment okay i did not expect that it's a schematic of course it requires armor mech they said it's an extremely low chance to get these things and that's actually a good opportunity for me to learn the schematic later uh, after I finish. Please remind me, guys. And I will show it uh, just in case you wanted to know what exactly the ingredients are, the crafting materials. Uh, nothing else worth checking out at the moment. It does require the same slot MK-10, in case you were wondering, so nothing higher. Over there, there is probably a chest, but let's leave it for another time. That second bonus mission. I do regret not showing it right now, but I think it would take a lot longer if I start looking for those uh, chests. Especially the one where I accidentally fell down. Ah, welcome back, Jim. I didn't expect you to come back. Hey Marvin, I will speak about the ending when I reach it, mate. I wanted to do both light side and dark side because I give my review and opinion uh, because I wanted to see both dark side and light side options in the end. 
So far, I can only say that the Flashpoint is, and the story overall, is better than the previous ones. But of course, it's a culmination, a conclusion to the story arc, so yes, it was expected to be a much better experience than the previous ones. And I really love that plant inside here. Nature finds its way. Did I just receive a whisper? <laughs> Whoever you are whispering to me right now, hello. If you're not on the stream, I will have to ignore you. Could skip that droid, and I skipped it in the previous run. But apparently it's more fun to spawn a million other droids by engaging the gold. After all, it's a double rewards event at this moment, so anything you kill is worth killing. <laughs> yes, I did the dark side already. But please, guys, I know many of you are excited to share or maybe criticize the story, share your opinions, save it for after the run if you're still around. I don't want anybody that doesn't know the story to be spoiled before it actually happens before your eyes. There are a few surprises during the story. What was that? They started the ritual. We're running out of time. And this time I'm going to sneak past that guy. <laughs> oh, of course! Teron is not invisible, that's why I can't sneak past him. damage they caused. If you want to check out the dark side playthrough that I did, uh, it will be available as a standalone video later tonight, guys. Don't worry. If you want to have a chance to see it, you will. <laughs> there is probably a chest on the right-hand corridor. Uh, so, I still don't know if and why you're expected to fight these. Maybe that's um, an optional boss. Because you can clearly get past it. But, just for the sake of uh, demonstration, I'm actually going to show them to you. They, they caused quite a lot of damage the previous time I was here. Of course, I was not evading the red stuff on the floor. And they do stack on top of each other, plus the annoying stuns. Can't have too many stuns, can you? Unfortunately, in solo mode, there is no enrage timer whatsoever when you kill one of these guys. There should be. They are twins. Every boss twin, twin boss, should have an enrage timer if you kill one of them before the other. Yeah, I probably skipped the lore item. If it's close by, maybe you can uh, navigate me. Uh, decoration, let's see. We've already seen that one. A second of that same decoration. Okay, I can go on the other side. Maybe that decoration you mentioned is on this uh, hand side, on the right side. It's a shame that all of these guys are ranged. I wouldn't be able to group them nicely and annihilate them all together. Wait, there isn't anybody else left alive. By the boxes. Yep, that's the one. Thank you. I did not see... Oh, that's, that's not it. Maybe those boxes. Aha! Uh -huh. Oh, again! <laughs> That's too flashy and it's not actually clickable. Not these boxes, not those boxes. Where the hell is it? Ooh, you're watching from a phone? How does it... 
Did I hear a whisper? I'm imagining things. No, it's a whisper! Do you guys hear something from the background? As if... <laughs> I know I'm probably going crazy. As if the nature is talking to you. Yeah, I don't see a lower object there. Should make these things a little bit more obvious. In other games, you press a button and these wow. things flash up for you. Let's go a little bit back and then I'll quickly move forward so I don't waste too much time. Still though, lower objects are interesting to discover and in many cases important. You mean any boxes here? Probably not, because if it's accolades, it has to be near the trash pool. Should feel better now. Okay, that's a whoa! Okay, just in case you were wondering, that's another chest for the bonus quest. And if I only could properly jump through this. That's the third one. I have probably missed at least a couple of those, maybe more. Well hidden though. Everything looks to be narrow, but I like the idea that these things are well hidden on the narrow path. Hey, how about these boxes over Take here? Did break. I check for the lower object near, near those? Don't see anything clickable. That don't surprise me for a moment. And that's another location of a box. Can we imagine if I bring the number up to six, maybe? And I won't be able to finish it because I've missed something far into the... near the beginning. <laughs> the YouTube app is not available here in Bulgaria, unfortunately. So I can't even install and try it myself. Oh, you thought it was a lower object. Okay. I feel better now. That looks like a pathway to another chest. Maybe not is a pathway but leads to nothing oh <laughs> it does lead to something after all look at that five damn i'm really gonna bring it up to six or maybe stay up to five and then regret not having the seventh uh, yeah that would be a shame nothing back here Probably nothing in this corner over here. Can I say something in Russian? Здравствуйте, mm, probably. I think that's Russian. So, I finally gaze upon the face of the Jedi who killed my master, who stole my life's work from me. I was once the Emperor's favored servant, feared and respected across the galaxy. I had a life most Sith only dreamed of, until you wrenched it from my grasp. For that, you will pay. The Alliance didn't kill your Emperor. I did. Leave them out of this. No, they will mourn their commander before we turn them to ash. 
to thank you for coming, I've sent you a gift. I hope you enjoy it. And that's one giant nasty beast. Going to see more of the mechanics hidden behind it because I basically just powered through it the previous time. <laughs> uh, someone I can't remember who suggested that I hide behind the NPCs during the uh, middle transition phase. Okay, so red is strengthening the beast. And everything is unfortunately strengthening in the beast. Yes, I hope that the stream is back up. Yep, that, uh, that was a, like, five seconds hiccup. Sorry, guys, uh, the stream should be back up. Please tell everybody in the chat to refresh their page or their app or whatever they're watching from, just in case it doesn't work. My internet uh, sneezed for a moment. I wonder where it will put me now in the flashpoint. Huh, okay, I'm still in combat. Nice, I haven't actually crashed. And that's the phase. Let's see what happens. Doesn't hurt me. And it turned to blue now. Stop, stop stunning me. Thank you. There is the blue buff. Oh no, wait. That's the blue buff. Passive energy. The damaged probe is interfering uh, with the beast, basically helping me out. And these red probes eventually, I think, will turn into blue when you damage them enough. And then you're expected to hide behind them during that... Uh, whatever it's called, uh, 24 repairing phase. Oh wait, that's the decimation protocol phase. to attack and come on are you jumping to the middle maybe after this one there we go last one if you stay any other place except behind the hunter probe droid you're taking damage from this long channel and you can of course damage it you should actually damage the hunter probe to eventually make it spawn blue circle there we go went into repair mode for 24 seconds the boss will come to any moment now and you're just dealing as much damage as you can while the boss has that buff passive energy interference it will all be available and refined of course for the written guide guys just in case i've not picked up something or in case you felt confused by my words here whoa the beast is available as a decoration? Oh, that's nice. Didn't get it the previous time. And yes, 
when you learn the mechanics, whoever it was, if you're still around, please say your name. That gave the idea that you should stay behind these uh, droids. That was the correct tactics. To survive and not take the damage. You can actually take the damage and... <clears throat> sorry. And uh, heal yourself after that, because even in solo mode, you're allowed to use the culture station spread all over the place. So, I know that the sixth chest is right here where I fell down the previous time, but what about the seventh one? Thought that there would be a place where sky troopers don't appear, that's not it. <laughs> I will try not to fall down again. I'm just curious where is the last chest to finish the Volcorion bonus. Come on, let me out, let me out. Damn, my skill went on cooldown. All right, let's see, what do we get here? Mm, trash. That's the sixth one I was talking about. Let's see if I'm going to fall. a tremendous it. amount of dark energy ahead. Uh, still drugs waking up from his nap. Oop. Close one. <laughs> oh, I do want to skip these guys. Uh, but will I be able to? Damn it! Really? Oh, that was a weird lag. Yeah, let's check the trash. I didn't use the rocket boost, yeah. Maybe that's the reason why they caught me. I do have a very, very strong feeling that there is going to be something clickable right here. And this place is related to the bonus with Valkorion, which means that I have missed the damn seventh chest. <laughs> I don't know if I can go back now and look for it. You think it's a good idea to go back and look for it? you like me to or would you prefer to just keep forward keep moving forward oh more sky troopers chest I think I picked up the one near the two bosses This 
is it. Sildrog is just up ahead. Get ready for a fight. Yep. Okay. Let's see how far back I can go looking for that chest. It's a shame to get to the sixth one and have to do yet another run to be able to cover the bones. But I will have to do it for the guy. Yeah. <laughs> Hey Diana, I do expect it's somewhere far behind where I can't actually go back. But we'll see in a moment. You guys will bear with me. I hope. No, I... Uh, did I miss the first one? Okay, let's... Anyway, let's check if and how far back I can go. Maybe I can just jump and see where I respawn. If I respawn in the beginning, that would save me some time traveling back. Plus, I haven't actually fallen in this uh, light side run. Might be the very first one that I didn't pick up here. I picked it up on the dark side run and I probably skipped it. <laughs> I do like the planet also. Yeah. Looks really good. Unless I picked up the first one and I've missed something else. Let's see, can I take the elevator up now? I should be able to. Okay, yes I can. I don't see anything stopping me from going all the way back to the front. There are no chests here. Here. Oh. oh, look at what we have here. Damn nice. In a very nicely hidden location. Uh, okay, so far so good. The question is finished and what the hell now? Really, that was it? No reward, no item. What was the CXP reward? Keep in mind that it's a double rewards event. Uh, completed the bonus mission Seeker of Fortune. <laughs> nothing, uh, nothing in terms of reward. Okay, let's see if that thing is clickable then, in front of the big statue. I've got you. So I have to admit, now that I've done the seven chests, they are really well placed and they won't sweat you finding them yourself, just in case you've missed the first whatever minutes from the video. But it will be available on uh, the website, maybe tomorrow. Or whenever I manage to take the screenshots and start writing the guide. Well, there is an optional boss, if that counts. Or rather optional bosses, those twins uh, right there, they feel optional. I don't see why you wouldn't be able to skip them if you wanted to. And also, I think... No, actually, nothing else is skippable. I don't think. It's gotta be that big statue right here. It does look like it's moving. Uh, it not, it, but, sorry, it doesn't look like it's moving, but it looks like it's something it's important. It, it's there for a reason. Come on, prove me right. Wait a minute, did I actually miss it? Where, where was it? Was, um... Here? Good news is nothing respawns when you are in an instance. It 
such a shame that they don't allow you to use your mount in here. It would be so very helpful. Big statue is still here. The quest is finished and oh damn it. No. That cannot be a simple side quest with no reward. It does not make sense. Huh. It really seems so. I don't see anything clickable around this. It's just a nice decoration, really. Some corpse here. Who the hell is this? Is that a human? Maybe a long time ago. I cannot believe that quest is such a fluff. Damn. Maybe it's not a fluff. I'll discover it on the next run. Or maybe someone will tell me tomorrow, day after tomorrow, whenever you guys complete it and discover something. I'm sure there is at least one secret uh, hidden achievement or something. Maybe there is even a, I don't know, bonus hidden boss? If there is a bonus boss, it's always related to the quest, so I don't expect there is a hidden boss here that's just waiting for you to discover. <laughs> that looks recent. Interesting statement. Ready for the final? Oh, that's one big... Move away, Teron. That's one big waterfall there. Should feel better now. We've noticed it in the previous run, but... I'd like to point it out. What... what is this? to do that for ages. Organics fight so hard for their survival. But you are too late. The thrones have been filled. Zildrog is summoned. What happened to these people? They served a purpose they hadn't anticipated. Fuel for Zildrog's awakening. First, he will destroy the shadows that kept me enslaved to your kind. Then he'll obliterate your pathetic alliance as a reward to Atreus for playing his part. Innocent people don't have to die. Stop this now and we can save lives. What are the lives of insects compared to the freedom of a perfect machine? The time has finally come. Silver of the Wings. It is done. What was that? Uh, Commander, things okay over there? Because they're definitely not okay here.
All this time, Zildrog was... How is this happening? Hilo, get everyone off Odessa. Launch as many shuttles as you can. That's a tall order, but I'll do my best. Gathering power. Inconvenient. It appears I'll have to eliminate you myself. Destroy the power sources. Don't let Zildrog recharge. And that's the first of the two final bosses. Oh man, that's a lot of damage here. Yes, simply move out of the beam. That's a quick and easy solution, right? Unless you're too lazy. Then you just eat the damage and repair yourself with the coaster station right there. I feel my strength. Oh, Lana is really dying. This is actually a cool fight, I have to admit. Intense, involves quite a few things for you to do and pay attention to. Uh, I think that's new. And... Oh, that's for a giveaway. I forgot to activate the command boost, but well, next time. Cutscene, and we'll see what happens next. We need to shut Zildrog down before it has the chance to attack again. The tech involved shouldn't be too different from Tithe, so I think I can slice into it. Theron, no! Theron! Too much to let you ruin my last chance at vengeance. Zildrog will destroy Odessin, and you'll finally know how it feels to lose everything. I'll tear you apart for what you did to Theron. There's the true Alliance Commander. It's time to end this. Zildrog, lend me your power! <laughs> I know Naomi, right? That was not supposed to be the light side decision. That's usually the middle decision that uh, my commander would do. But it felt like the appropriate moment. <laughs> oh, Naomi, uh, now that I mentioned your name, I do have a personal message sent to you about a week ago in YouTube. Take a look if you haven't. 
Yeah, you're not supposed to stay in bad stuff and you're supposed to take care of this old trash. Because I don't know if they are supposed to remain after you defeat the boss, but, but they don't disappear. You have to kill them anyway, but if you prefer, you can actually target or tunnel the boss and think about the consequences later. Don't stay near the edges, obviously, because of the pushback. I will take everything from you. And he should be just about gone. And then you go and clear... Oops. You go and clear these little things and you finish the big machine. Kind of reminds me, I think I said Directors Directive 7 uh, during the Dark Side run, but it also reminds me in a way to the um, Revan boss fight. Lore update. Alliance update, actually. The state of the galaxy. If you guys want to read it, take a screenshot, read it later. I'm not very good at reading stuff from the first time. <laughs> Let's go see what happened to Teron. How dead is he? Uh, what? Systems failing. I see the darkness. I will loot it for you guys, just because, because apparently I forgot. Oh, what the hell? There's no loot. Ah, there is loot. So yeah, that's what we've got. Operator requisition. Activate your droid operator. Uh, all right. What the hell just happened? I should have probably read the description. Was that a pet? Droid requisition? Something? Never mind. Someone that knows what that was, please help me out, or maybe I'll have to rewatch it later. <laughs> well, I don't think it's a droid. Uh, the pets actually do spawn. A requisition? That's something related to. Um, someone, someone mentioned that there might be an item here. No. Related to the side quest that I did earlier, no, no special, no new item, nothing, whatever. If that's a companion, I thought it was a companion, but then again, oh wait, maybe it would spawn here somewhere. No, I have Lana here. Um, maybe it didn't spawn because I attempted to activate it inside of the flashpoint instead of waiting. That would be the one. Yes, that's the one. Salvaged and serviced by Alliance engineers, this probe droid uses ancient technology from Natema's original inhabitants. Who? We will check out this companion later on. Unless... Reclaim inventory items. Okay. I got the rifle. Maybe I should remember to give it back to the companion. Okay, let's finish the story now. still alive but just barely <laughs> couldn't even do that right it looks like you've won again outlander 
like you always do. What are you waiting for? Strike the final blow. Be the hero yet again. You didn't just threaten the Alliance. You endanger the galaxy, including Zakul. Let your own people decide your fate. So be it. I have a team headed your way now. We'll make sure Zakul gets their prisoner. We don't have much time. Unless we get Theron to Odessa, he won't make it. Call a shuttle. We're taking Theron home. I will do that, Solar, don't worry. No Alliance casualties, minimal damage to Odessan, and we stopped an ancient machine from destroying half the galaxy. I'd say that's a win. Factions associated with members of the Order have offered their apologies. But the fact remains, the fleet and the Gravestone, our two strongest weapons, are gone. The future of the Alliance is uncertain. What happened on Nathema is proof that we need change. Odessan was nearly destroyed because of the Alliance. It's better we lay low for a while. A vacation wouldn't be so bad, would it? After this, I imagine the Empire and Republic will double down on their war efforts. We may need to consider who will support when the time comes. I hope you're comfortable working for the Republic. As long as they're comfortable with my interrogation tactics. You know, it'll be nice to take a break from ruling the galaxy. Not like you've ever taken a break in your life. Theron. It's, uh, it's been a while since I was last in this room. It's good to be back. Look, I know I put you through hell. I was reckless and stupid, and it almost cost us everything. I probably don't deserve the trust you showed me but I did it to protect you and the Alliance and if you'll have me I'll work hard to earn a place at your side so what do you say are we still a team you risked your life for us there's always a place for you here oh, I don't know what I would have done if you'd said no <laughs> I have a lot of making up to do, but I'm here to stay, no matter what. As am I. The Alliance may change, but we're not going anywhere. Everything is different now. But whatever the future holds for us, the three of us will face it. Together. Well, that was definitely different experience Ooh, look at that look at what we have free appearance change everybody who loved Teron with his original hair is probably celebrating right now uh, Teron's deep cover outfit okay let's accept those things and take a look so Teron's customization is obviously available here and Maybe first I will have to call him, wherever he is. Teron, where are you? I never learned the place of the, my companions in these places here. It's actually bugged. The companion uh, UI is hidden for some reason. Maybe I'm not allowed to have a companion here. Maybe I'm not. Yes, I should be. Let's see what's available here. So Theron is here. He looks like himself. 
Let me show your mug. Uh, my mug, I mean. Oh, do you see Theron? Yeah, I'm just missing him. Oh, that's one. That's one Theron over here. Hey. Don't say I never did anything for you. So that's the old Theron by default. Theron is looking like himself. And let's actually try to... I'll try to change his appearance. Companion. Outfit. Okay, so he comes back with his old default appearance. And if you wanted to, you can... Whoa, that's a whole set of things. If you wanted to, you can change his appearance to the new version. Alright, 